Hi everyone, I hope you are well. In this video, I will explain the application of 3D laser scanners in a beam process and explain the term scan to beam. I am Dr. Elham Delzende, Senior Lecturer in Digital Built Environment. And Built Evolve is a channel that discusses advanced digital technologies in the built environment. scan to beam refers to the use of 3D laser scanners to capture an accurate digital representation of a space to be then used as part of a building information modeling process. You can scan inside a building to get the as-built data. You can also scan the exterior facade of a building or a site. So now you can imagine why this technology is very beneficial for most of the professionals in the construction sector. Planners, civil engineers, architects, architectural technologies, BIM coordinators, surveyors, etc. etc. There is also another very useful term related to scan to beam, which is reality capture. Reality capture is a digital technology that enables us to create a 3D model from photographs or laser scans of a building or space. The 3D models created by Reality Capture can be very detailed and accurate. Also, they can be used in a BIM-enabled project. There is a good article and video by Autodesk about reality capture. You can see the link on the slide. Some advanced laser scanners work with LiDAR technology. Let's see what it means and what it does in simple terms. LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging. It is a technology that has been used for various surveying purposes for many years. It has applications in agriculture, geology, archaeology, mining, autonomous vehicles, robotics, and of course construction. LiDAR technology was first introduced in 1960s. In 1980s, it appeared in various high-quality research publications. In 1990s, LiDAR technology was available for commercial purposes in engineering and design. Between 2016 and 2018, the application of LiDAR technology in construction sector improved significantly. With a simple explanation, a laser scanner sends its amplified light out and as the light hits an object, the device measures the location of that object by measuring the return time. Placing a laser scanner in the middle of a space, the location of all objects will be captured point by point. The combination of these points creates a point cloud data from the space. Using the point cloud data, we can create an accurate model of an object or a space. According to the data published in Autodesk Construction Blog, the demand for laser scanning is progressively increasing in the construction sector. This is due to the amazing accuracy of this technology, the speed of the process of laser scanning, its profitability for the projects and its relevance and compatibility with the BIM tools, processes and workflows. Laser scanning has various applications throughout different stages of the building's life cycle. During the planning and design stages, 
It helps projects with improving the accuracy of site surveying and the incorporation of precise site features. During and throughout the construction stage, the application of laser scanning improves coordination between different disciplines and systems such as mechanical and electrical. Laser scanning is particularly beneficial for the maintenance and demolition stages of a building's life cycle as it produces an accurate as-built model of the building which facilitates all renovation and retrofitting processes. Like any other cutting-edge technologies, the application of laser scanners in construction projects has some drawbacks and cons. The first one is the initial cost. Laser scanners can be expensive, especially the most accurate ones. Like any other digital technology, before purchasing a laser scanner, you should check your requirements with the specifications of the device. I don't want to get into the details of 3D laser scanner prices as they change over time. Also with a quick search on the internet, you can find very useful information about different types of laser scanners and their specifications and prices. To minimize the financial risk, you can consider renting a laser scanner first. Despite the high initial cost, in the long run, depending on the type of your construction company, purchasing a laser scanner can be extremely cost beneficial. The second drawback of 3D laser scanner is the training requirements. Like any other technologies, you first need to learn how to work with the hardware and software to benefit from it. Scanning a space using a laser scanner is not difficult or complex. The challenging part is usually about cleaning and using the captured point cloud data. Also, when you buy a laser scanner, usually some free training will be offered. But in general, training requires time and money. There are very good step-by-step -step tutorials on the internet about the scan to beam which is the process of incorporating the captured point cloud data into a BIM tool. The other challenge of adopting new technologies such as a 3D laser scanner is the changes and transformations it causes to your existing processes. You need to adopt new technology and accept the initial risks. Therefore, it is always best to start introducing a new technology at the beginning of the project or a distinctive stage of the project which allows you the required planning and adjustment in accordance with other technologies and processes in the project. Do your study, learn about hardware, software and skills required. When you have the point cloud data from the laser scanner, you can use Autodesk Recap Pro software to import and convert the scan file data to a point cloud format called RCP that can be then edited in other software applications such as Autodesk Revit or Civil 3D. To link the captured data from a laser scanner into Revit architecture, you should use insert, link, and then point cloud. You need to make sure that the elevation of your point cloud linked model is similar to your building. You should also make sure that the orientation of the linked RCP file aligns with the true north on your Revit model. interested in learning more about the scan to beam process, there are various available step-by-step -step tutorials. I would also like to suggest you to check laser scanning forum 
and there is a good video and presentation by Autodesk called An Intro to Laser Scanning from Recap Pro to Revit to the Future. You can check these two links. And finally, we have come to the end of another Built Evolve video. I hope it has motivated you to learn more about scan to beam and improve your digital knowledge and skills in the world of construction. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in the comment section. Do not hesitate to introduce the channel to the ones that would benefit from it. And take care!